In this episode, we take a look at how expensive life is in Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro is located in Brazil and it's a popular destination among visitors from the United States and Argentina. The average net income of the taxes is $360 per month. On what does a Rio de Janeiro resident spend his salary on and how much does he pay for it? Well, let's dive into this. How much do you spend on monthly rent? For a one-bedroom apartment, you would pay $468 per month. For a three-bedroom apartment, you would pay $911 per month. Besides rent, you have some other monthly costs, such as gas, electricity, water, telephone and internet. We call them utilities. Electricity, heating, cooling, water and garbage are around $105.20 per month. Mobile phone with a 10 gigabyte data plan will cost you around $20.41 per month. Internet with a minimum speed of 60 megabits per second will cost you just over $20.94 per month. In the transport chapter, we look at how much public transport costs and the litter of petrol. We do not discuss mandatory costs such as car insurance or certain taxes that you pay annually to the government because this can vary greatly per country. One liter of gasoline will cost you $1.15. A one-way bus ticket will cost you around $1.01. Without discounts whatsoever, you will pay $54.81 for a monthly pass. Let's see what basic products you need will cost you on your shopping list. One liter of milk will cost you $1.20. One loaf of white bread will cost you $1.74. One kilogram of white rice will cost you $1.16. One kilogram of potatoes will cost you $1.11. One kilogram of chicken filet will cost you $3.67. While one kilogram of round beef will go for an average of $8.51. A one and a half liter bottle of water will cost you 85 cents. While a a bottle of wine will cost you $8.12. That means that you will spend about 29% of your monthly salary on groceries. We cannot reiterate enough that all prices quoted are average prices, so you can still find cheaper rates, especially for products you use every day. Many food prices depend on the season, so a more precise indication of the prices is very difficult, but you can use the prices to compare with your local products. Prices of locally grown products are usually much cheaper than a country that has to import these products. Bananas will be much cheaper in Panama than in Belgium, simply because Belgium does not grow bananas and vice versa. Keep that in mind when trying to compare prices. Also important, clothes. A brand of jeans such as Levi's will set you back $59.86, while a summer dress on the other hand will cost you $47.55. A pair of business shoes or fancy shoes if you want will cost you $70.32, and a pair of Nike running shoes costs an average of $83.84. Leisure or entertainment, another important theme. Visiting a cinema or going to a restaurant is something we all do sometimes, so we try to list the main ones. A cinema visit for an international movie will cost you about $8.12 per seat. A fitness club charges a monthly fee of $28.33. Renting a tennis court will cost you a staggering $43.98 during the weekend. Do you have more or better information for us about a certain country, prices or topics that we seem to have forgotten? Don't hesitate to send us a message in the comments section of the video. Also, don't forget that you can subscribe to our channel so that you will be notified when your country or city is featured in the next coming video. Now, let's move on to the next topic. And then last but not least, dining and nightlife. Because there is a McDonald's on every corner of the street everywhere in the world, we had to include this one in our list. A Mac meal or similar will cost you $7.10, but also you can find a cheap restaurant for as little as $7.10. A three course meal for two persons costs an average of $36.54. You will find a soft drink for $1.21, while water for a 33 centiliter bottle will cost you 73 cents. Half a liter of a local beer will cost you $2 and three cents, while an important beer will cost you a three dollar and four cents, but you will have less beer. 
Rio is credit cards, picks, and anything digital. Credit cards, picks, and all digital are widely accepted. About 3% of the total of the Brazilian population lives in Rio. The gross domestic product per capita in Rio de Janeiro was $9,937 in 2020. Unemployment stood at 9.8% in 2023. One of the main sources of income is provided by the service sector. The share of the service sector amounts to 87% of the gross national product in Rio. Yet about 0.4% of the population from Rio de Janeiro works in the agricultural sector. Considering the four most important regions of Rio de Janeiro, more than 25% of the population lives below the poverty line. One of the biggest reasons for this high poverty is economic inequality. The poorer population has little or no access to education, clothing, clean water, food or fuel. If you also notice that the rental prices easily exceed 100% of the wage and even more than double a monthly wage for a family of four, then it doesn't take much for a Brazilian in Rio to end up in poverty. In Brazil, it is even more than normal for people to buy shoes or pants on monthly installments. Rio has invested heavily in infrastructure over the last decade, making it excellent. Rio de Janeiro received the Sustainable Transport Award in 2014 for its general transport system and continues to grow. In Rio, you can now use all modern means of transport, ranging from bus to metro. There were also heavy investments in bicycle transport and other small means of transport to get somewhere quickly. Uber, taxis and other transport apps are also well represented. To enjoy a retirement in Brazil, you must be at least 60 years old and have an income of at least $2,000. Even though the requirement is at least $2,000, you can still get by on less than $1,000 a month as a single person. If you are frugal and your standards are not too high, $1,000 will even theoretically allow you to survive for six weeks, which I wouldn't really recommend. See you in the next city or country.